So for general all-purpose inflation of sports equipment, tires, um, and maybe even um, running like some kind of spray paint kit um, for your spray paint art, um, you'll want an air compressor. A lot of people buy these digital tire inflators and they don't really, they don't really let you do as much as you can with like a regular pancake compressor. Um, however, a lot of us live in apartments, don't have a big garage and don't have $300 to spend on a big, um, you know, black and Decker pancake style compressor. Um, so you can buy these kind of smaller portable consumer grade ones like this Goodyear i8000 and um, sometimes they plug into a car, sometimes they plug into a wall outlet. This one plugs into a wall outlet. I see that as a little bit more um, versatile um, because you can always use an AC inverter um, to plug this into the car. Um, so. I went with this one. This one has a max PSI of 150. This gauge shows you the amount of PSI that's going into um, basically the air system. Um, but the problem with these is that they usually come with proprietary air fittings, so you can't really attach whatever you want. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, you can use commercial quarter inch NPT standard um, air fittings and that's what I want to show you how to do and that's what I recommend that you do if you buy something like this um, just to use around the house and to inflate your car tires and stuff like that um, basically I've already done the modification but what you will do is you'll find a section of the hose the very first air hose that comes out don't mess with this connection um, go down the line and um, basically just cut so you all the hardware that's beyond it is just cut off. It's gone. So all you do is ha you have an exposed um, hose. Then you want to get a barb and it's a barb to quarter inch male NPT adapter. You stick the barb and down into the hose. I've already done that. You can see it in there. Once that's down in the hose, take an air hose clamp and it's the steel band and it clamps around the rubber and then once you tighten the screw it's clamped in place and it's airtight then you just have this exposed um, valve or this exposed thread pipe and take a little bit of pipe tape to keep it airtight inside and then what I recommend that you do is get a um, quick release coupler this is a female end, and um, it, it fits on a, it has a female thread in here, and then a quick release stem. And that fits a quarter inch NPT. There's also 3 8 inch NPT, um, but that's a little bit of overkill for this application. And what this lets you do is attach anything you want, like an air hose or an air chuck. And there's ball bearings in here that keeps it airtight. But all you have to do is you pull this collar down and out that comes. These hoses usually come with quarter inch NPT male threads and you can get more adapters. And what I've done is I've put a male adapter and a female adapter on this air hose. So I get another 25 feet and there's a little tape on there to keep them airtight. That connects to this chuck. What's great about this is this gives me a reading up to 100 PSI of whatever I have connected on here. Um, so if I connect this onto a tire valve stem, I'll get a pressure reading off of here. And then I can go ahead and turn on the unit, um, build up some pressure, and then when you hit, when you hit this trigger, um, air gets released and gets uh, pumped into the tire. And then you can continue to inflate and inflate until you hit whatever your target PSI is. It's really easy to read on there. And then you can just release the stem, 
turn off the compressor, release all of the pressure that's in the system, and then you can just quickly disconnect everything. Um, makes life easy, and um, I'll show you. I've got the same kind of connections here. Just pop that out. Out that comes. So if I don't need that air hose extension, I could just uh, connect it right here, which is difficult to do with one hand. Um, but you can imagine, you just pull the collar down, push it in, release the collar, and uh, that's it. Um, so I kind of recommend everybody do that um, who's got something like this because having to be limited to whatever hardware they gave you, um, it's kind of lame. Um, and uh, I find this to be a very easy way to inflate tires to like an ideal PSI. And one last disclaimer is um, whatever the max pressure rating on your compressor is, all of your equipment needs to match or exceed that. Um, basically, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope that's helpful to you.